and welcome to another video. In today's video we're going to make these sweet little hats and the pattern that we are going to use today is from Mama That Makes and I will put a link for you in the description box so that you can get this beautiful ribbon pattern. The hats we are making today are going to fit 26 weeks gestation and also 40 weeks gestation. The smaller of the two is for the 26 weeks and the cream coloured one works up to be around 40 weeks gestation. I would like to encourage you to make these and donate them to your local hospital as they are always needed. So let's get started on the lesson. I would like to say a huge thank you to redheart.com for supplying the yarn that we are using in this pattern. If you would like some fabulous yarn and free patterns then go to redheart.com. For our supplies we're going to need a pair of scissors. I don't know anything different if you're a regular viewer. Yes I have new scissors. You're going to need a yarn needle with a large eye. A crochet hook to go with your yarn. In today's video we are going to be using a DK or a lightweight yarn which is a number three in the USA. It's an eight ply in Australia or a UK double knit yarn and it recommends a four millimeter crochet hook. This is a size seven or about a G size crochet hook. Today's yarn we're going to use is Red Heart and you can grab this yarn on redheart.com. This is the fashion soft yarn. It is a five ounce skein or 141 grams and we've got 181 yards or 348 meters. This recommends a four millimeter crochet hook and you can see it's a number three there which is the US weight yarn but for us Aussies and people in the UK it's eight ply or DK. We're only going to use a small amount of yarn in this project because it is so small and if we make the hat with this weight yarn and also follow the instructions it's going to make a hat to, to fit 20 six weeks gestation. If you use worsted weight yarn and a five millimeter crochet hook, I worked up this sample. This is a Red Heart Super Saver. It's a number four worsted weight or a 10 ply or an Aran weight yarn. I've just worked this up just as a sample. And if you use this weight yarn, it's gonna fit about a newborn size. If you would like to make this hat bigger, I would suggest watching my hat video and you're going to see the information pop up here. That video will show you how to make a hat bigger. And if you use the crown, which is just the round part at the top, if you just use the crown of that hat video, it will show you how to make different sizes. So this, this pattern's only gonna go up to a newborn because that's the instructions that it's got. But you can use the crown of that hat video that pops up on the screen and then you can use from rounds five of this hat and add to the sides. I've got some of this yarn sitting here. This is the Fashion Soft and it's a number three DK or eight ply yarn. And I've also got, I've just got a scrap of Red Heart Super Saver which is a ten ply or a number four worsted weight or about an Aran weight yarn. And you can see there the difference in the thicknesses. This one recommends about a G or a four millimeter. And the orange one recommends a I size crochet hook or a 5.5 millimeter. So that's the difference in the yarn. So if you use this yarn, it's gonna work out much smaller with your pattern. So we're going to start off with a slip knot and we're going to work chain two and then we're going to work eight single crochets into the very first chain. So going in the first one there we're going to work eight single crochets. So pull a loop through and then pull through two. Into the middle pull through and pull through two. I want to do this eight times. Up 
just going to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we want to join with a slip stitch to the very first half double crochet, which is there. Go under two loops, grab your yarn and pull through. Round two, we're going to work a chain two and do two half double crochet in each stitch around and the chain two does not count as a stitch. So chaining two, two half double crochets. So wrap your yarn, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all the stitches. I'm going to do this in each one around so it's two half double crochet stitches and this will give us a total of 16 stitches all together So pause the video and I'll meet you when we have our 16 stitches finished. We have 16 stitches and we are going to slip stitch to the very first half double crochet. So this is our chain 2 there and that is the top of the half double crochet. So make sure your slip stitch disappears there otherwise you can accidentally crochet into it when you come back around. Round 3 we are going to have 24 stitches and we are going to join to the first half double crochet. So that's our chain here and this is our half double crochet. Round four we're going to repeat round three so it's just what we did just before. We're going to chain two, half double crochet in the same stitch two half double crochet in the next one. Oops. One half double crochet in the next and two half double crochets in the next one. So repeat this around and I'll meet you when we're ready to join. Pause the video and I'll see you there. When we get to the end we are going to have 36 stitches and we are going to join to the very first half double crochet. Round five we're going to chain three and we're going to double crochet in the same stitch. So we've done our chain three and we're going to double crochet into there. So this is the start of the pretty little side section of the hat. I'll just grab this one. This is the start of this part. So if you've used the other hat pattern I was talking about, my double crochet hat pattern, you are going to start this section when you have your hat wide enough for the size that you want. And because this pattern for the sides works over two stitches, as long as the amount of stitches you've got is divisible by two, which it should be if you have followed that pattern, it doesn't matter if you've started with 8, 10 or 12 stitches in the beginning, this pattern is going to work because it will increase at the rate of even numbers. So you do chain 3, double crochet in the same stitch, going to chain 1, we're going to skip a stitch down on here and then work 2 double crochet in the next stitch. So skip this stitch here, in the next stitch work 2 double crochet, chain one, skip one, in the next stitch we're going to work two double crochet, so it's yarn over into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two stitches and then pull through two. You're going to work two of those in the same, chain one, and working this all the way around, skip one and then two double crochet in the next stitch. So work this all the way around with a chain one. You can see that's starting to form. 
work this all the way around so pause the video and I'll see you when we are at the end of the round so this is what your first round of the pattern is going to look like the pattern for the sides of the hat and we've done our chain one there and we're going to join to the top of the chain three I like to try and grab two loops first one there and then the next one's at the back it kind of disappears because you've pulled tight two loops makes it a more secure and doesn't pull that little hole there really big round six to eight so round six seven and eight we're going to slip stitch across to the chain one space so slip stitch in the next double crochet just in the top there and into the chain one space work a slip stitch oh it's chain three double crochet in that same so this time it's in the same chain one space not top of the stitch but just slightly different chain one into this chain one space we are going to work two double crochet and a chain one so it's almost like the previous round it's just works slightly different when we're using it down here working into the chain one spaces instead of the double crochet stitches and it's a two double crochet and a chain one in every chain one space around so that is our second round of the little pretty pattern that we're working there we're going to work ourselves around and we're going to join to the top of the chain three like we did on the previous round and we're going to work this round again and we want to work so this is round six that we're doing now and we're going to work seven seven and eight so two more after this one and you just got to slip stitch across into the chain one space before you start working it which is what we did on this round so we're going to repeat this round and then two more times and then we're ready for our single crochet edging so a reminder just in case you need one I've done my chain one there we're going to join to the top of the chain three and then we're going to slip stitch to the chain one space and work a chain three and double crochet in that same chain one space chain one and continue on with our pattern so after this round so that was round five six this is round seven so we're doing this round plus one more and then we're in on for our edging we pause the video and I'll see when we're ready for our edging I've just finished round eight so we are on to round nine and round nine to twelve is a single crochet rounds and it starts with a chain one and a single crochet in the same stitch and then we're going to single crochet in each stitch around you've got a chain one space here you can work into the chain one if you like so you would work into there work a single crochet but I'm gonna get lazy and I'm actually gonna go in the chain on space and then it will be in the tops of the double crochet so you've got two there and then in the chain one space but if you prefer you can work into the actual chain one itself I'm just being lazy and I think it still looks really nice anyway I'm going to work this all the way around. So what am I doing? Chain one space. I'm going to work this all the way around, and I uh, get your words out. Work all the way around, and I'm going to meet you when we're ready to join. So pause the video, and I'll see you there. When we get to the end of the rounds, we're going to join to the very first single crochet, and we're going to make a slip stitch make it that snug chain one and single crochet in the same stitch and single crochet in each stitch around 
And we're going to work it like this until we have so we our first one we just did was round 9 this is round 10 and we're going to keep going until we have 12 rounds all together so from now on we're just repeating the round what we're currently doing now so you'll get to the end join to the first single crochet like we just did before chain one and single crochet all the way around so pause the video and I'll see you at the end so this is my hat finished off you can add more rows of single crochet if you want to but I'm just going to follow the pattern but like I said if you aren't using the worsted weight yarn I did actually do I think one more round 9, 10, 11, 12 yes I did one more round of single crochet because I just found I just thought that it didn't look quite long enough I know it's only a single crochet round but I just wanted to add slightly longer to it so we're going to cut our yarn and we're going to finish off and then we're going to sew in our ends so turn it to the back go under a stitch and just pull that through And that just pulls that knot around to the back and then just sew your ends in so I'd really like to encourage you to make a heap of these and donate them to your local hospital lots of places will accept these I support Chances Clothes Project they have a Facebook page I think they also have a website I'm going to put all the links that you need in the description box of this video which is generally underneath the video I don't know if this is going to go through with this needle no it's not I'll have to use a different needle this one has quite a large eye and it's quite thick and these stitches are quite small let's see if I can crochet a stitch down and work in the double crochets yeah, so like I was saying, I support a group um, and I will put all the links that you need in the description box. People rely on donations for a cause like this. It doesn't matter what size hats that you make, they all get used. So I'm going to stitch down to just here and I'm going to work it through that row I'm going to grab one of the stitches there and then work underneath I can hear thunder in the background there's a storm coming it's a summer storm it's been quite warm today so generally get a thunderstorm It's actually raining at the moment I think yes it is and then pull that back through and then you can cut off your ends and you'll have one at the beginning as well so we just need to sew that in oh sharp new scissors I try to clean the other ones but they just didn't come up as good I have a stack of these scissors um, I buy them in a box of I think there's like 12 in a box I get them through a friend and they work out reasonably cheap and I have them sort of in each crochet project bag that I have so I've got about five or six of those so that's half a box already used up. I'll put one pair in each bag so that I don't have to worry about trying to remember to put scissors in each bag. <laughs> this, is, this yarn needle is not loving these small stitches. All right, I'm going to do that off camera because that's just painful to watch. But you get the gist. You're going to sew in that end and you have this sweet little hat. Love that pattern stitch. And Michelle from mama that makes has lots of little crochet patterns like this so 
I will also put the link for her website in there. They're all really simple to make and all look really sweet. So thanks for watching guys. Please share your creation on our Instagram and Facebook pages. I'd love to see what you've been making, not just for this pattern, but for any crochet that you're making up. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy crochet. I don't know if you just heard that, but there is yarn vomit. There is yarn vomit working its way across my backdrop. Oh no, it's got stuck. <laughs> I'll show you, hang on. It's actually feeding out really well. Mm -hmm. That's what you don't see. That's off the side of the camera.